Well, hey there, folks. Justin from CartoonSmart.com here. And uh, what we're going to do is adjust some uh, frames using Adobe Flash or Adobe Animate. doesn't matter which one you do. And so this would be uh, frame sequences. Uh, perhaps you bought some uh, uh, game art out there and you just need to make an adjustment. It could be uh, to scale things down a little bit. It could be to um, recenter the artwork. Sometimes what will happen is... I'm just going to use this little circle right here. Suppose... Uh, you've got this is your main character right and the artist that created the artwork did some sort of sword slashing motion out this way so you got a bunch of frames where the sword is out, out over here uh, but the artwork has been trimmed in such a way that well it looks exactly like this where the characters push off to the left and you got all this other space uh, over this way but what you really want is a situation more like this and you really can't fault the um, the illustrator for that uh, sometimes it you know has to do with the program that they're using that exports things out and doesn't kind of give them that option um, it kind of trims it as, as you know like whatever <laughs> with the least negative space possible so um, but anyway let's uh, we can fix this really quickly and uh, you'd be surprised uh, Adobe animate really is a great program for doing this let me uh, I already kind of practice a little bit so let me remove these frames over here uh, so we just got a new document and uh, the key here is to go and use the import option so you got to go to import uh, to stage and then pick out uh, your frame sequence uh, as long as they are sequentially labeled like this um, you know zero one two three and so on or one two three uh, it it should pick up on the pattern so we're gonna go click on open and then this is the important dialog box the file appears to be part of a sequence of images do you want to import all the image in the se uh, images in sequence click yes and what this is gonna do uh, is import in all of those files and then oh, they're already in there because I again I was playing around and then put them in the timeline uh, in order right so how cool is that uh, and then from here what you can do is uh, go over here to edit multiple frames so click on that and you'll notice that you get these little handlebars up at the top uh, a little bit different than your actual slider right um, so make sure that you got all of them selected and uh, then uh, probably the easiest thing is just to go to select all and then you can hit the uh, the Q key to just free transform these which is uh, that tool over there and oops did not want to do that let's hold, try holding down shift and then you can you can move them around and obviously uh, kind of center them back up however you need them to be so let's um, it also gives you kind of a good idea of the, the where the artwork is on every single frame right because you can kind of see every frame in there let me take snap off so then you can kind of set this up in such a way that it is trimmed as close as possible all right so it looks like he is uh, centered in there and that way if you're if you are using xcode you know you could um, put your physics body you can make it circular or something like that and actually the most ideal thing would be if this was um, a perfect square doesn't have to be but uh, that way if you did have a circular physics body it's gonna go stretch out right around here um, and uh, well you could even trim it even further obviously but uh, all right so take off uh, edit multiple frames and then you can kind of play through this and just see what's happening okay perfect and maybe you want to add a drop shadow underneath this again there's all sorts of reasons you might want to export things so that now you're gonna go over here to export movie and we don't want GIF sequence. What we want is a PNG sequence. And let's just uh, put this uh, on the desktop. Exports. <laughs> Esports. <laughs> I'm in the esports business. Okay, create. So we'll call this uh, zombie. It also gives you a chance to rename this too. And uh, save it on out. Okay, you, uh, you definitely want uh, PNG 32 bit uh, resolution. Yeah. I mean, you can adjust this. So if you did want to make a, uh, you know, something a little bit bigger, you could do that. So let's, uh, we'll play around. We'll do 800 by 800. You saw one of my emails come in there, didn't you? Okay, so now let's head over here to the desktop. And there we go. All right, so we've got our new image sequence. 
all nice and centered on there. These frames actually were already centered, but uh, I just like this uh, zombie dude in the uh, the army outfit. Hey, this is one of the pieces of artwork that you get uh, for free if you are a uh, yearly subscriber at uh, cartoonsmart.com. So be sure to check that out. You get about a thousand dollars more worth of uh, awesome free artwork and more each month. So there you have it. That's how to export out a frame sequence using Adobe Flash slash animate. I always forget that now. <laughs> Darn that rename.